Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be talking about the altimeter and how to look at your altitude value on the Garmin Instinct crossover watch. Now I'm using the solar version, it shouldn't matter whether you've got the solar or non-solar. This feature is available on both of them. This is also a feature that is on the Garmin Instinct 1 and the Instinct 2. So if you want to look at your altitude value, the most basic way to do that is to simply add it as a data field on the watch face. It's kind of hard to tell from this watch face, but I've got it added right here, that 123 is my elevation in feet. There's some watch faces that are going to display this better. This is not a good one. Um, let's go look at one that's a little bit better. I'm going to press and hold the menu button. I'm going to choose watch face and we'll go to one like this that does a better job of it. This one actually shows a trend so you can see over the last four hours what my altitude has been doing. I'm basically not doing any kind of hiking or elevation changes so you can see it's pretty level for me. Again, you can see my current elevation is 121 feet, but this does a better job of showing me it as a data field on the watch face. You're gonna have various watch faces on this watch. It comes with 11 de delivered watch faces. Each one of them you can put the altitude value on, and then you can always use the Garmin Connect IQ app to go look for additional watch faces. But that's gonna be your most basic way to see your altitude value. You can also add the altimeter to your control menu. That's going to be basically a shortcut wheel to take you to various things on your watches. I've already done it on my watch. I'm not going to walk you through how to do it. But if I press and hold the menu button, that takes me in my control wheel. And then I've got the altimeter set so I can simply press GPS and it takes me into the altimeter. Again, it's kind of like what we saw before, but this thing is actually updating in real time because we're actually in the altimeter. 120 feet is what it's showing. You can also see my high and low values over the last four hours. What's different about the altimeter versus the barometer is I cannot adjust this. It's always gonna show last four hours for the plot area on the altimeter. On the barometer, you can actually adjust what the plot area is showing. You'll notice this little arrow up here is showing me that there's something else under this screen. If I press the GPS button, it takes me to my altimeter settings. I can calibrate the altimeter or I can go down to settings, press GPS, and I can do a couple of different things. Again, I can calibrate. I can turn on the auto calibration, which basically means the altimeter will calibrate automatically on the watch. If you don't want that on, it's a simple toggle. I turned it off. You notice it says you will be prompted at an activity start to confirm your elevation. I don't know why anybody would really want that off unless they're maybe on a mountain and they know their exact altitude and they want to record it. They don't want the watch to be adjusting. I guess I could see that most people I would think would probably leave this on. Sensor mode, when it's determining your uh, altitude value, does it use an auto automatic feature where basically it determines should it use the bar barometric pressure or should it use your altitude or altimeter uh, sensor on the watch? Auto means that the watch will determine which one it will use. Normally it's going to use your barometer unless it senses that you are climbing and then it will switch to the altimeter. You can change this, however, by pressing GPS, and instead of auto, you can say just use the altimeter only or just use the barometer only. Again, I would think auto is going to be the setting that makes the most sense for most people. And then last but not least in your settings, you can change your units of display for your altitude. So mine are currently set to feet. If I press GPS, I can switch that and have it displayed in meters. Just for video purposes sake, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to meters. Now remember, I was at 121 feet before we pressed the back button. Now I'm showing 37 meters. Your unit of display will adjust everywhere. So now that we're done with the altimeter, I can simply press the back button, get back to my main watch face, and you'll see that on the watch face where we were seeing my altitude value, it as well has adjusted to meters versus feet. We looked at adding it to your control wheel. You don't have to put in your control wheel. You could also download the glance. Your glances are gonna be the up and down button on the watch. So from your main watch face, if I press up or down, it takes me in my glances. I've already added the altimeter and the glances. The glance is pretty similar to what we saw with the control wheel, but when we go here, we actually see our current value, 38 meters in my case, and then we can see a trend uh, on the side. If I press GPS, it'll take me back into the altimeter just like we saw before on the control menu. The interesting thing is if you go to it from a glance, 
you'll notice that it's a dark background with light font. If you go to the altimeter from your control menu, it will be the light background with the dark font. Everything else is the exact same thing. It's more of just aesthetic. So if you like this dark background and you don't like the light background, don't add it to your control menu. Access it through your glances. Again, if I press the top button, we're going to see the exact same settings we just saw before when we were in the altimeter from our control menu. Pretty simple stuff, pretty basic uh, functionality. Once you're done again, simply press the back button. That's a look at how to use the altimeter on your Garmin Instinct crossover watch. I hope the video helps.